All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. I'm gonna be playing a little bit of World of Tanks. I'm on the test server. Patch 9.7 is on the horizon, and I heard rumors about a tank destroyer with one millimeter of armor all around it. And so I had to check it out, and that is in fact the M56 Scorpion. It's a tier seven premium American tank destroyer. Now, obviously, there's a few advantages by it being premium, and it's it's just kind of interesting. It's got a 90 millimeter gun, which has really really good DPM um, and I am by no means an ace World of Tanks player but I had to check this thing out because well I mean if someone says hey man there's a tier 7 tank with one millimeters of armor you kinda gotta check it out right so I began to read a little bit about it like why on earth does it have one millimeter of armor and I found out that it was because it was designed to basically support the United States Airborne Forces, you know, the Airborne Divisions, paratroopers, stuff like that. So this thing could be dropped in a glider, it could be dropped out of a plane with a parachute. And it was designed, destroyed. you know, basically to support the airborne troops in dealing with tanks, because it was it's a tank destroyer. It definitely can't hang, you know, in a straight up fight but it's fast and it's got a great gun so it's kind of like how the airborne plays and you can see me shooting at one right now in this game alone there was a number of scorpions running around so i thought it was pretty fun this is also one of the only games i got in that wasn't filled with tier nines because it's the test server and everyone wants, to, everyone wants to see what the big boys are playing these days but so i just found it kind of fascinating to read a little bit about the history of it and it was actually used in Vietnam and it was produced in mass, but the difference was that they didn't really like it. Are you gonna really like this thing? Like it didn't have a turret, it didn't have like, that blast shield is rather small, right? So you're gonna wanna use that tank or you're gonna wanna use the M551 Sheridan, which actually replaced it. So while I herp a derp around the map, like, ooh, look at these four tanks. I would love to shoot all of them. Just kind of, enjoying myself because it has been a while since I played World of Tanks but um, I think I'm kind of excited for the 9.7 patch they're doing a lot of HD textures on all the tanks they're kind of modernizing their game I mean it's been a very very successful game and that was partly in part partly in part don't you love the redundancy because there wasn't really a competitor out there but now that War Thunder has come up they're really starting to compete the two of them and as many YouTubers, Jingles um, obviously being one of the, on the forefront of the arguments, like this is not a bad thing to have two games competing for your attention. That means the quality of play and the quality of the visuals only gets better. Prior to the beginning of this map, actually, it seemed like there was like Katusha launchers, like all of a sudden just things started blowing up like in the 30 seconds to load the map and I thought that was really cool. I tend to like the maps that feel like you're in a war zone. Like this one, there's two variants. One is like it's all sun shining, there's not burning things and smoke and planes flying by. And that's okay. This one feels like you're in a battle. And that's what I really, really liked. Furthermore, there is a map that I tried to check out in a training session <laughs> um, called Overlord, and it's about the D Day uh, landings, basically. So I'll have that after. I thought it was pretty funny because. It was tier 10s, like in a training exercise. And then there's me running around my tier seven scorpion, like, hey guys, I wanna see what this is about. And they're like, what are you doing here? You're not allowed to join training. So they kept trying to shoot me. There was some Russians, I think, tr maybe training for some competition. Who knows, but they were tier 10s. Had a blast, I'll be showing that off next. But I really, really wanted to check out the scorpion. And it kind of got me thinking, you know, uh, I might have an opportunity to really kind of see all the tanks in World of Tanks. So, similar to how I have in other series like Request Series, I'm interested in, to, in hearing what you guys would think, you know, would be interested in seeing next. You know, because I'll probably be playing some more World of Tanks, and obviously I've talked about streaming a lot in recent weeks. Tomorrow, um, I'm actually going to get my computer set up, so it's basically I'm, I'm having a computer set up specifically for streaming because um, what I want to do is be able to play them, you know, on high settings. So obviously I'll be playing some World of Tanks, so if you guys want to check it out, if you don't have it installed or if you've uninstalled it or whatever, check it out. i got a link in the video description below that links to um, that and also the Twitch 
where they have this competitive series and it got me thinking like when I was my first gaming convention was PAX Prime in Seattle and I went by the war gaming booth they invited me for a press appointment got to check it all out I even got to play World of Warships for the first time back in August of 2014 and that was a blast prior to the little World of Warships weekends and all of that and got to see a competition where people were competing for tens and tens of thousands of dollars it was amazing to see just how intense it was like esports and I got to go there I was invited got VIP got to have some drinks it was a lot of fun I took some pictures of like the booths and everything it was my first game convention so it was obviously awesome and then get to see something like that and it got me thinking obviously I've been playing a lot of World of Warships and one of the things that's just unfortunate with me in World of Tanks is I wasn't there from the, you know, from the ground level, from the very, very beginning. And World of Warships I am, so I was thinking, man, I would love to cast World of Warships esports matches. Like, that would be fun. I love that game so much. And right here, I'm just not getting the capture. Well, look how pro I am. I don't want them to know where I'm coming from. But that guy's against a couple of tanks, so <laughs> he's probably just about to piss his pants but yeah so if you haven't checked out world of tanks it is an interesting competitor because you guys are probably more familiar <laughs> isn't that cute this thing can go up to 45 kilometers per hour but that is not fast enough to get up that hill it's rather steep and you can see my friend there trying the same thing but anyway it's just been a blast. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what Wargaming does at this year's PAX Prime because last time they put on a big show. They usually put on a big show at all these conventions. Um, but yeah, definitely check out World of Warship or <laughs> World of Tanks if you haven't already. Um, I'm gonna be playing it a little bit more. I'm gonna be streaming a little bit more. There will be some videos on maybe like rare exclusive tanks. So let me know what you like to see. You know what? Let's check out some Operation Overlord. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are on the I'm new map, out. Overlord, and I want to take a joyride. This is kind of like a, a training custom battle of sorts. This is the only way I could, like, that I could figure out how to actively check out Overlord. But look at these trenches, man. It's like a map you'd want to play Men of War in. Oh! Someone's a little angry. He's like, what are you doing here? Did he purposely run into me? I don't know. That'd be kind of funny. I'm just checking it out. This is this is a beautiful, highly detailed map. Oh my gosh, are there landing ship tanks out there in Higgins boats? We gotta check this out. So look, I'm leading a convoy apparently, but can you imagine during D-Day, like the whole big thing was like tricking the Germans so their Panthers wouldn't just just kick the Allies off the beaches right when they got on there? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this! There's even tanks down here. How cute is it? It's like the Sherman with the little s funnels on the back. Snorkels. The snorkels there. We got Higgins boats. What's that? What's that right there? Ah, just a Higgins boat on its side. It's beautiful, man. Oh my gosh, this is the new map. Hopefully we don't get shot. Don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me, buddy. I'm just checking out the new map. I'm just checking out the new map. I'm just checking out the new map. We're on the beaches, man. We're storming the beaches. This is what it could have been like. Like, <laughs> are these guys really going to shoot me? <laughs> this is a training exercise. I think they are. <laughs> but you kind of get the feel for how beautiful this map is. They're still probably aiming at me, but... Yeah, he's still aiming at me. We're going to hide behind this giant beach tugboat. Oh my gosh, we're still alive. Can we make it behind the tugboat? Yeah, we can. Now he's like, what are you doing over there, comrade? You're not supposed to be on the beaches. Let's shoot him in the butt. You know what I mean? Like, hey, jerk. Don't look at me. That'd be really bad. This is kind of funny. <laughs> Vengeance is mine, friend. Oh, I guess not. Anyway, a brief <laughs> and chaotic preview of the new map, Overlord. It's going to be great. 